Howdy Pards, Mr. Holster here, just having a little coffee in the tag room. And I need that coffee this morning, just got back from the cities, left here at 345 this morning. Take Jack down to the airport down there, and I I don't know why I had to go all the way down there to go to the airport. I said, can't you, can't you fly out from from somewhere up here? He said, no, we gotta go, we gotta go to the, we gotta go to the cities. So at any rate, he said we got to leave at 3.45 so we can get there in time. And uh, at 3.30 this morning, he was waking me up. And I wake up, and there he is standing there in full dress whites. I, I said, Jack, what, what are you wearing your uniform for? And Jack said, well, you know, maybe you guys don't know he was in the military. And actually, he was in he was in more than one branch of the military, too, which is a whole other story. At any rate, I said, Jack, what do you got your uniform on? He said, shut up. Let's go. Get some coffee and you know, let's go. So, got in the got in the truck and we drove down. And he didn't say a word the whole time. And I dropped him off. And the last thing he did, we got out of the car. He turned to me and said, "I wish I had that fifty bucks, and maybe I could at least buy some drinks at the officers' club." And he slammed the door. Of course, right after I said, "Jack, don't slam." Yeah, Jack's really upset because he got a letter from Smith and Wesson. Yeah. And apparently Smith & Wesson, for some reason, isn't going to get their rebates out on time. And, and they told him, they promised him he'd get his, his $50 for that lovely Smith & Wesson bodyguard he bought. <laughs> he got so mad when I laughed at the letter, too. Oh, was he furious. At any rate, they, they promised him he'd get the money by July 31st. So, yeah, who knows, you know. They, yeah, at any rate. So Jack was not happy when he left, and he goes back every year. He goes to Bethesda and gets a complete checkup, something to do. He had his legs injured when he was working for NASA for a while there, and some sort of experimental aircraft or something that crashed, and he was badly injured in it, and, and they had to replace... Uh, three of his limbs and one of his eyes. Yeah, which I, you know, I'm sure. I hope he doesn't see this. He'd be so mad if he knew I told you that. So anyway, he has to go in once a year for a checkup. And why I had to wear his uniform to do that, I don't know. Personally, I think it's, he just wants to try to pick up chicks in the in the cocktail lounge in the airports. I think. <laughs> but he's, you know, he doesn't really need a uniform for that. That's. But at any rate, this is what I was going to talk about today briefly is my SIG P220 in 10 millimeter that it, it, I bought this and you know now it's got to be like eight weeks since I've had this gun I have to go back and check to see and I said I wasn't going to shoot till I got my shooting range done yeah this is supposed to be one of the carrots to get me to get my shooting range done of course Mr. Holster's such a bum he hasn't got it done yet so it's yet to be shot but and when I when I showed it originally I had that that uh, unboxing of this gun and when I showed it I said the finish the snake finish was something that really didn't throw me it wasn't what I wanted but you know what's really grown on me because I I open the safe up and fondle it and look at it quite often at night because <laughs> I really want to shoot it but I, I said to myself no I'm not going to shoot this gun till I get the range done but I thought I'd talk about it briefly it's got a uh, a rail on the front so you can hang something on there. I don't I don't really know what you'd be hanging on there because it's basically designed for hunting. So I don't know what you'd be hanging on with the rail. It's got this sight on the top which I'm not a real fan of fiber optic sights. This one happens however to be a fiber optic night sight on the front and I think the concept for that is you can use that when you're hog hunting which is probably the what they've designed this gun for most of any kind of hunting is probably hog hunting, I would guess. It's not really my use for it. There aren't a lot of hogs running loose way up north near the Canadian border. So it's not a lot of hog hunting up here. But uh, this is what I want to talk about on this gun. This is a single action, by the way. This isn't the conventional, typical P220 SIG where it's got a decocker and it's double action on the first pull, single action after that. This one is single action only. You see there's no decocker. So you carry this cocked and locked. 
but not what I'm talking about today. What I wanted, what I got this out for to talk about is the grips. They have these, and I think they're made by Hogue. I think Hogue makes these grips for SIG. The Piranha G10 grips. And this is one of the reasons I'm so anxious to shoot this gun is the grips just feel like they are going to be so nice are going to keep the gun from moving in my hand at all and and they're very aggressive and yet not to the point I don't think they're going to be pain, any kind of you know, cause any problem with being too aggressive but I think they're really going to keep that gun in my hand I just really like the looks and the feel of these G10 Piranha grips that SIG is putting on their guns and that that 1911 I have has the mainspring housing made out of the same G10 Piranha for its grips. So you got the same, of course, this is the wraparound grip on the 226, 220, the, the old SIG grip that wraps around. So you get that full same grip frame, but they've done that with the 1911s by putting the mainspring housing in it. Just fantastic. I love the feel of that. And again, that 1911 is a carry gun that is also like this. I can't shoot it till I get the range done. <laughs> That's a little stuff I'm torturing myself with. So, any rate, I thought I'd share that with you because I think I'm really going to like these grips, and I'm probably going to end up getting a set of these grips from my my West German Sig P220 because I really like the feel of them. But I'm waiting till I shoot these to to bite that bullet. I want to make sure they aren't too aggressive. I don't think they're going to be. I think I'm really going to enjoy these grips because I really like them. Thought I'd share that with you this morning. Before I leave you, I'm having a contest right now. It's called the American Gunfighter 5,000 Sub Giveaway, where when I get to 5,000 subs, I'm giving away a $350 gift certificate to Brownells. And all you got to do to get in that contest is, number one, be a subscriber. Yeah, because I need subscribers to get to 5,000 subs, but we're only about 1,000 away now. I'm, you know, pretty close. Shortly. And if it's anything like my contests in the past where I've done this, as soon as you get that kind of, you get that close, it happens like that. So I'm thinking that I'm, I may I may be giving that money away before Jack gets his 50 bucks back from Smith & Wesson. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> so you might want to get in my contest this morning. All you got to do to get in it right now is, number one, be a subscriber. Number two... Like this video, and number three, in the comments section down below, just type in, nice sig, Mr. Holster. Yeah, it is. I, yeah, I think it is. I really am liking the this kind of snake camouflage thing before. When, when I bought it, I was going, uh, I don't know, it's, it's growing on me. It's growing, yeah. Even old guys can, can even old dogs can learn new tricks. Yeah. And, and I can say that because Jack's not here. He really, he really hates that saying. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time, go out and stay safe.